Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus, here with another Magic 2014 Let's Play video. So at the end of, my, end of my last episode, I had just beaten the Royal, which was a sort of sorcery heavy deck, no creatures to summon, took out a lot of my land, I got lucky, I managed to get a Fire Mage right at the last minute, which was able to take him out, and now I'm on to the final uh, opponent of the, what's the word I'm looking for, of the plane, which is Chant of the Moldire, which looks like some kind of funky undead deck, maybe, possibly. Well, I'm going to admit, I gave this one a go with my white deck, got horribly annihilated by some obscenely powerful cards. So what I really, and well, it's basically a green deck, so it's got a lot of powerful, powerful creatures. Uh, this one's got heavy card synergy, and believe me, this one does have a heavy card synergy, like the, the sort of the the way that these cards work together are crazy. So I tried it with my white deck, didn't work, couldn't get enough powerful creatures out to stop uh, this deck bringing them out. So what I'm going to do this time, give it a go with the green deck, which hopefully should work this time. So uh, I'm going to hit start duel and give this a go. So, uh, but but what what this kind of, uh, oh, so the, my opponent is Gurundar. So you hear a chanting and rattling coming from the heart of the swampy forest. The sound leads you to a shaman sitting before a pool of eerie energy. As you draw near, he laughs hoarsely and stands his hands glowing with pale green fire. So it's basically like a crazy shaman-y kind of, uh, uh, opponent and I have no land card so I'm going to draw a new hand looking a bit better three land uh, Colonian Tusker good card nice and quick to get out Prime of Bounty whenever you cast a creature spell put a 3-3 green beast to, oh, I like that card as well uh, Hunter of the Week also a good card um, it's like a dual card and I've got Overrun creatures you control gain plus three plus three and gain trample at the end of the turn so that is a good hand and I'm throwing down a land to start off with I'm liking this hand definitely say that this green, this green deck has so far been my favourite. Uh, I'm wondering if I get to actually play with, with this green deck at some point. Uh, I think I get to unlock this next, so unless it's going to unlock a, a different a different deck deck for me that isn't green, but uh, Regal Force. Oh yes, I'm like, I love I love this card. When Regal Force enters the battlefield, draw a card for each green creature you control. So uh, I'm going to get my Colonial Tusker down, as it's a good card to start off with. Good 3-3, three, three. nice and quick to get out. Good for defence, good for attack, can't complain too much. Let's see what he gets out. I suppose that's a man. It doesn't look much like a man. What I found before against this opponent, the amount of land cards you can get down on the field is obscene. Like for example, there's rampant growth. So search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tab. I mean, you you can't you can't compete with that. Like the amount of land cards that he can get out is obscene. It basically allows him to get out some obscenely powerful creatures very quickly. So I'm gonna have to work very quickly here. So uh, oaken form. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three. Can't complain. Can't complain with that. Plus three, plus three. May as well make this a six, six straight away. And I get to attack. So uh, let's get six. Let's, let's do six damage to him straight away. Because what I found with this opponent is he managed to get this card out, which just gave him some amounts of health. So even if I had managed to survive his most powerful creatures, he had like almost 50, 50 health by the end of the duel, which was just ridiculous. Seriously ridiculous. So he's getting another land card. Of course he is. So Fairhaven Elf, whenever, whenever, when Fairhaven Elf enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card and put it onto your battlefield tap. See what I mean? Like all, all of these other cards allow even more land to be summoned, which is just ridiculous. Like you can't compete with it. So he's already got five land on the battlefield already, which is just crazy. So Prey Upon, target creature you control, fights tar target creature you don't control. So I don't think I have Trample, unless this gives me Trample, which I don't think it does. So what I can do, if I use Prey Upon, Get his card out straight away because mine won't become tapped by killing him off, and then I can do another six damage to him. I really want to try and end this duel as quickly as possible. From what I learned before, just get it, get it out of the way before I can summon any of his obscenely powerful creatures, which I was not impressed with. Just the the, the sheer level of obscenely overpowered creatures was out of this world. So, Grazing Gladeheart, landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain two life. So yeah, he basically had two of them on the field, so every time he played another land, and he was getting tons of land at this point, he was just getting obscene amounts of life as well, so... And then we've got County Heart Expedition. So yeah, another card that allows... So landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, uh, you put a counter on County Heart Expedition, remove three quest counters from County Heart Expedition and sacrifice it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. So again, another card that gets land or health. So the synergy of this deck, it's true, is, is really quite good. 
so I can get another land onto the battlefield. Uh, I now have actually have enough um, Hunt of the Week, so I can get this card out of the way as well. I, I will actually get an extra plus one plus token on my card as well, so I can do seven damage to him. Okay, with this deck, this duel is going far better than I did last time because, again, this I, I do I love this green deck. It's really quite good. Um, it's good for quick quick paced battles. I'm doing really well against him this time. Like if you'd seen my previous battle, which I I did record and then thought, well, I don't really want to show you show you me epically failing. So I thought I'd I thought I'd just come and show you. So Oracle of Mordaya, you may play an additional la so again more land that he can summon basically you may play an additional land on each of your turns play with the top card of your again that's a pretty cool one so you can play with the top card of your library revealed and you may play the top card of your library if it's a land card again pretty cool so uh if a if a, if a, a land comes up straight away so we can play that straight away ridiculous more land on the battlefield so uh so yeah he's got two two sort of tokens on there as well Vastwood Hydra, so we've got Shiny here. Vastwood Hydra entered the battlefield with an X plus one plus one counters on it. So he's got a lot of land at this point. Uh, yeah, and but you can only put three counters on it. When Vastwood Hydra dies, you may distribute a number of plus one plus one counters equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on. Oh, that's, 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 that's a pretty that's a pretty cool card. So uh, yeah, my turn. Oh, thank God for that. I got a land. So what have I got? I've either got Primeval Bounty or I've got creatures you control again plus three plus three and gain trample until the end of the turn that's going down that's one with the duel i don't care oh just feel the power coursing through my deck right now he he can't stop me i've wiped him out i've done obscenely well this time got really quite lucky like he can't even stop me i'm gonna do trample i'm literally i'm gonna do seven damage to him that's crazy how well this duel has done this time i've not even lost any health how it's it's i this game is amazing, sort of the... I don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. I honestly don't believe how easy that was. I really should have kept my recording of the last one and showed you what he had on the battlefield. Actually saying that, I might, I might be able to... Uh, I, might, I might be able to... Uh, might be able to show you some recording and do a bit of post post commentary on it just to show you a, a brief clip just to show you what he had on the battlefield last time what i had on the battlefield last time but uh but yeah um actually said no, i won't do that but oh what's this one rancor if that's anything like the star star wars rancor it's gonna be pretty badass enchanted creature gets plus two zero and has trample oh no this is a, an enchantment oh that's pretty cool so it gains uh, trample when rancor is put into a graveyard from the battlefield return rancor to its owner's hand Nice, I'm liking that. That is cool. So yeah, again a new deck which is uh, Chant of the Moldire. Um so well I defeated Chant of the Moldire, which gave me a deck, uh gained uh ooh, title card unlocked, and locked an achievement, so I basically won that duel. Uh so yeah, I could I could um, I might consider uh doing a bit of uh sh showing you what happened last time, but in all honesty, it just was him with like ridiculous I think he had one card at one point which had 2019. Uh, with trample as well which was like well how the hell are you supposed to defend against that like even if you throw every single one of your cards which has like 15 total defense they're all going to get annihilated and you're still going to take five damage so there wasn't really anything i could do about that by the time he got that card out i was pretty much boned that time this with this with my green deck against that green deck perfect got what well i only played again i only played one creature so uh i i yeah this game 20% luck. If you get the 20% luck on your side, you can, you, can, you can be utterly crap at this game and still still win. But but yeah. Um, so we're on to uh, so what's this then? Broken staff. Picking up the broken staff from the fallen shaman Gurundar means you're another step closer to finding Ramaz. So it looks like I'm after some guy called Ramaz. So uh, we're on to Shandalar next, uh, which is pretty cool. Ramaz described a strange race on the plain of Shandalar. He studied their hive-like habitat and said they had only recently discovered how to use magic. I have no idea what they might know about Ramaz, but a clue is a clue. See what you can dig up. So apparently I'm after some uh, funky race of new magic creatures. That looks like them. Looks like a predator from the Predator films. How weird. So looks like we've got a jailbreak, weather the storm, a law and bramble, and silver hot sliver hive so pretty cool so yeah i'm gonna leave the video there after def uh, after finishing zendikar 
Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please comment my videos. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I can do differently. If you did like my videos, please like, possibly even favourite them. If you want to see more of my content in the future, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. And again, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.